This is the story of how Sigmund Freud's ideas about the unconscious mind were used by those in power in post-war America to try and control the masses. Politicians and planners came to believe that Freud was right to suggest that hidden deep within all human beings were dangerous and irrational desires and fears. At the heart of the story are Sigmund Freud's daughter, Anna, and his nephew, Edward Bernays, who had invented the profession of public relations. Their ideas were used by the US government, big business, and the CIA to develop techniques to manage and control the minds of the American people. Those in power believed that the only way to make democracy work and create a stable society was to repress the savage barbarism that lurked just under the surface of normal American life. Last week's episode showed how Freud's ideas spread throughout America in the 1950s. They were promoted by his daughter Anna and by Freud's nephew, Edward Bernays, who invented public relations. He brought Freud's theories into the heart of advertising and marketing. A man like you, I mean, with a car like this. What they both believed was that underneath all human beings was a hidden, irrational self, which needed to be controlled, both for the good of individuals and the stability of society. But the Freuds were about to be toppled from power by opponents who said they were wrong about human nature. The inner self did not need to be repressed and controlled. It should be encouraged to express itself. Out of this would come a new type of strong human being and a better society. But what in fact emerged from this revolution was the very opposite. An isolated, vulnerable and above all greedy self. Far more open to manipulation by both business and politics than anything that had gone before. Those in power would now control the self not by repressing it, but by feeding its infinite desires. This is the Orthos Forum and we approve this message.